Step four of completing your digital portfolio presentation is to go ahead and upload your finished uh, Movie Maker file into your Google Docs and upload it onto your ePortfolio. So you're going to go ahead and open up your Google account and sign in. Once you've signed in, you're going to go ahead and open up Google Docs. Once Google Docs opens up, you're going to click on this red button right here. You're going to click on File, and you're going to go to your desktop or your flash drive or wherever it is that you placed your finished Movie Maker file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for mine, and here's mine right here, my portfolio presentation with my underscore and my initials. So I'm going to go ahead and double click. I can see in my right hand screen that it's uploading, I'm going to give it a second to upload. This might take a while depending on the speed of your computer, so be patient and wait for it to finish. In this properties box you're going to see a blue text called share. You're going to click on that option and you're going to change this area here. You're going to click on change and you're going to select the radio button that says anyone with a link. Go ahead and save that, and then you should be ready to share it. You can go ahead and click Done at this point. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on your Google Site. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Site here. You might even see it under here. Once this opens up, just find your website or your Google eSite portfolio. So here's my Google Site. I'm going to scroll down to where it says Portfolio Presentation. When I click on that link, it's going to take me to a different page and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Options. What you're going to do now is you're going to click on the Edit button and you're going to come down to this area. So you can at this point edit this out if you need to, but really what you want to focus on is this area here. You're going to click on that and remove what I have there previously. Make sure your cursor is still here, so make sure you click in here once more. You're going to go to the Insert tab. You're going to come down to the video, and you're going to insert from Google Docs Video. Here it is right here, my portfolio presentation. I'm going to just click on it like this, and I'm going to select it. It's going to ask me about the width and the height. I can change these if I want and I can change the width and the height right here. So I probably messed up here. I probably should have made this 600 and this about 500 so that it's longer than it is taller. So I'm gonna click Save and just see what it looks like now. Okay, that looks pretty good. If you want to, you can change this around as well and then you can go ahead and have a look. Okay, so it looks pretty good there. What you want to do now is you want to copy this link right here and place this in your Moodle account. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this, and then I'm going to copy it, and let's open up our Moodle account. So I'm inside of the Moodle course now, and I'm going to scroll down to about week 13 or week 14. I can't remember exactly which one. Okay, week 14. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Submit Digital Portfolio Presentation, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to click on the link that I need to. So I'm going to click on the class that I'm in, or the cluster that I'm in, and I'm going to make sure to reply to this first option here. You can see my name right here. So click to that, and then what you're going to do is, in this next area, you're going to paste your URL. Now, if it doesn't automatically turn into a hot link, you can always just highlight it, copy, click on the link button, and make sure to place it in there as a link, and just click OK. All right, all you have to do now is post a forum. Okay, let's click Continue and take a look. All right, and there it is. Just to make sure that it's working, click on this here, and make sure that it takes you to the actual page, and that when I click this, it's going to begin my portfolio. Okay, and that's it. So once you're done with this step, you are completely done.